When you leave Cartagena and travel along the Caribbean coast towards the north, you soon reach the large town of Barranquilla, with more than a million inhabitants. Unlike other large Colombian towns, Barranquilla was not founded by the Spanish aristocracy. It was inhabited by colonialists, and their houses are practically the only historic remains. The contrast between the town's past and present is often very marked. Their architectures are sometimes very different, but their lines are elegant, even those of the concrete cathedral. Barranquilla is colorful and lively throughout the year. But in the days leading up to Lent, you can feel the excitement mounting. The colors are spruced up. The visitors come from far off. You feel that something special is going to happen. Everyone, big and small, is busy with the final details. Pastry cooks, too, are getting ready for the party, giving unusual shapes and colors to their creations. In the streets appear strange vehicles and characters. The town's beginning to jump. Groups home in on a meeting place. There's a distant rumbling. There won't be long to wait. The first teams are starting to move. It's the beginning of the procession, one of the most famous in Latin America, the Barranquilla Carnival. One museum celebrates the carnival, Alfredo de la Espriella. It's one of the transcendental facets of popular culture in Colombia. The carnival is a continual movement. It's a popular expression. Apart from the artistic or popular aspect, it's very funny. The carnival, quite honestly, is fancy dress, funny faces, laughs, tomfoolery. That's what the carnival is. The Barranquilla Carnival lasts four days and four nights. But for months beforehand, people are getting ready. Groups endlessly rehearse the movements of the cumbia, a dance which combines elements of Amerindian, African and Spanish origin. Antonia is a choreographer. The cumbia is known throughout the world. It's one of the oldest roots of our carnival. And as well as the cumbia, we have lots of different dances and music. That's why we've been declared a world cultural heritage. The Barranquilla Carnival is unique in the world for its cultural diversity. Adriana Romero. It's a multi-rhythmic carnival. The Barranquilla Carnival boasts over 13 cultural expressions, like the cumbia, the congo, the mapele, the son de negro, extras, litanies. And these all perpetuate the very essence of ancestral traditions. For the Barranquilleros, we feel a pride and a passion. For us, it's very gratifying that our city is known as the capital of happiness. the Barranquilla Carnival! Hi, the carnival is great! The origins of the Barranquilla Carnival are very old. They go back to the days when the African slaves would sing, dance and dress up, pretending to be their masters. This was a very common practice in the Caribbean. Each area of the city has its own beauty queen. The most beautiful will be elected Queen of the Carnival. Elizabeth represents the Abajo neighborhood. This contest used to be called the People's Queens of the Carnival. Each of the queens from a popular neighborhood would present the cultural particularity of her neighborhood. 
One of the high points of the Barranquilla Carnival is the Battle of the Flowers. Beside the Caribbean traditions, the parade touches on current political events, guerrilla activities and other delicate subjects, like the fight against drug trafficking, often making fun of them. During the carnival, anything goes. There are also baddies in the procession whose aim is to scare you. During carnival time, the whole city is taken over by young people, pulling threatening faces at passers-by. It's the dance of the blacks. They're demanding a ransom from drivers and passers-by. The idea is to get a few coins so they can continue partying. The rejoicing goes on all night long. Fortunately, refreshments are on hand. Colombian music has its roots in complex and varied origins. The mixture of Spanish, African and Caribbean influences creates an explosive result. The town of Barranquilla owes a lot to the great Magdalena River. Where its mouth opens into the Caribbean Sea, alluvians have created an enormous estuary. <laughs> 